Hello and welcome to this video series How to Produce Your First Website with Blue Griffin presented by Easier Internet Marketing. OK, now let's look straight away at the video objective. Although the website we're going to develop would be simple, it's still important that we plan out the final look. We need to consider what we want where and lay out our pages. Let's have a look at an example of a basic website. Now here's a website I built myself using free web editor software. It's not a marketing site, but it provides information for anybody looking for tutoring in our local area. It couldn't really be more specific in its target audience, but it still regularly receives between 25 and 50 hits a month, and if just one of those hits results in a new customer, then I'm more than happy. First of all, we have the header. This one I put together using basic software and a free image. You can get a more professional one produced if you want to, either by subscribing to a site and building it yourself, or you can pay somebody to actually build it for you. Here we have the main text area. Now with a simple site I prefer not to have too much below the fold of the page. Use a range of font sizes to break up the text and make it more appealing. On this site I've got two side columns, one to the left and one to the right. The left column contains links to some of the basic features we'll need such as the contact page and the about us page. Let's have a quick look at these two. The contact page has all my details. I've also included a map of my location. This is a simple insert from Google Maps that I can show you in a future video. The page also has a backlink to the home page. About Us is a brief description of who is actually behind the site. It's important to connect to your potential customers and put a face to the name. Again, here is a link back to the home page. There are other clickable links to various pages on the left and on the right columns, but I won't go into these at the moment. Notice also the graphic. This is the photograph of the building where my tutoring business takes place. Again, I'll be showing you how to insert images onto your site. And this image could be directly linked to a map if you so preferred. The one thing missing from this page is an opt-in form. My site is purely informational, but if you're trying to sell something and build a list, an opt-in form will be essential. We look at inserting opt-in forms in a future video. There's so much to look forward to. Let's now break the web page down into the key components that we could include on our new site. Now there are certain elements of the page that we can highlight. First of all we've got the header and then we've got the main body of the text. This is actually a three column table I inserted. Within the left hand column there will be a selection of smaller boxes we can use to link to other pages on our site. We can decide upon the final number as our site construction progresses. On our site we'll also replace my image with an opt-in form in the same place. We'll also have another box with links to our recommended resources or other sites. So here we have the key components of our site. The header, the main text area, clickable buttons on the left and links on the right. Now let's take away the original website. We're now left with a plan for our site. We can now overlay this into Blue Griffin. So here you can see that using the various various columns, various headers and whatever, we've got a plan for our site that we can really get started on. Now we've clearly achieved our video objective so let's grab a cup of coffee and let's get started. OK, so load up the next video. Thanks for watching this video produced by Easier Internet Marketing. I'll be back with you again very soon. Bye bye for now.